You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to do the next video in our SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Electronic Fish Tank Underwater World. Yeah, pretty cool. I have the 2.0 Glowing Fish. I have the Aquabot Seahorse. And then this RC Submarine. I figure it's time we see how the submarine works in the tank. So when I come back, I'll get this one out of the package. We'll learn about each one. And then we'll put them in the tank and see how they work. All right, so this is the Hexbug Aquabot Smartfish Technology 2.0 with Inner Glow. So I thought that would be cool to see the Inner Glow. So let's get this out of the package and we will check it out. Actually, there's just tape around the edge here. Okay, and it looks like a shark. Let's see, there we go, it just turns out, ooh. And he's working right away because I'm touching the sensors. And look inside there. So these are the sensors here. And usually when this hits water is what's actually triggering it. See his little tail move there? So this is soft and then this is soft. And look at the front. Ooh, he's going to be wreaking havoc in my tank. Hopefully not as much as the last shark I've tried. So that is... The Inner Glow 2.0. Let me just give you a close shot of that. And then the background, yeah, you hear my other fish. They're in the tank. The tank is running. So this is the next one that's going to go in. So before we do that, though, I want to check out the seahorse. So let's take a look at that one. All right, there is my seahorse in purple, kind of just hanging there and swinging slightly. So let's get going here. So now there's been no other changes to the tank. I'm still waiting for my plastic cast to make the little piece that goes above Patrick's house, the little arrow. That's the only thing I really need to add. And I don't know if there's an easy way to just pull it out. Here we go. So let me see if I can read something here. Well, let's take a look at him first. He is purple. And he's got these little spots on the side. See that? Here's the sensors on the side. I don't know how... Ooh. Okay, so that's what moves when you touch the sensors. It moves this back fin. And this looks like hopefully it's just going to dance around the tank. Now they have these in a bunch of colors. we got purple. Let's see, was there anything else on here? It just says seahorse. Water brings it to life. There isn't much more there. How to do the batteries, which I don't need to worry about because there's batteries in there. And of course, oh, it says it light. it's a light-up seahorse. So it's that red light inside. Let's see, was it red? There it is. That little red light. Imagine him swimming around my tank now. That's going to be fun. All right, I'll come back and we'll check out the submarine. All right, so this is the first vehicle. I have two other boats, which we'll try at another date. Today it's the underwater submarine remote control. Drive, surface, forward, backward, turn left, turn right. Radio control simulation series. And that's what it looks like. That's what the controller looks like. I'm assuming that the base is the controller but we'll have to see high-tech fish torpedo pig boat ages eight plus and this is taped down i'm not sure let's see okay this slides out and then here's my controller underneath mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. is it a tab i'm not sure don't want to break anything okay so let's do it from this side here there's some tape There we go. So that should be easy to get off. This looks like it comes out. And it looks like there's screws under there. So this probably has to come out first. There's some padding in here. No, that doesn't do anything. It almost looks like you have to pull this. There you go. Pull this back. Okay. There's that, there's that, and there is a screw here. Okay. I don't have any battery set, so let me go grab those. Hopefully this doesn't tear up my system. Hopefully not. Since I can control it, I should be able to tell it where to go and where not to go. Hmm, 
what's this here? Oh, that must be the power. So it has batteries in there. Does it have batteries in here? Oh no, so you have to do this first, then open the battery compartment. Let's see. Well, it's one of those you kind of kind of pull out as you're doing it. There we go. No batteries, but there's a piece of plastic in there. Oh, so it's an extra little piece for the front. All right, so it looks like you pull this out and then you seal this up and then it's ready to put in the tank. So we're gonna have to figure that out and how to charge it. So I will, there you go. Does it charge? Where do you put the batteries? I have no idea. All right, so let me grab some batteries. Let me uh, take a look at the instructions and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. That is the charging port up there and I'll get the batteries in. I will have to charge it, so we're all pretty much set. I'll let this charge a little while. Let's just see if we get any kind of power here. Antenna is going in. Okay, so there's all of our high set. It's our high sensitive transmitter. Let's see. So let's turn it on, and then this looks like it's forward. Ooh, yeah, look at that. See that? Reverse. This must be submerged. And what's controlling this? Oh, so you probably set that. There's nothing actually moving that, so it's probably all being moved by the little propellers on the back. And then I think the charger is here. Let's see. Yes. So you open this. And you take this out. Let's see. Not easy to get out. It's tucked in there. There we go, it's a little cable. So we'll let this charge for a little while. I think we're set. So now it says it's in charge mode. There's also something up here. I'm not sure what that is yet. I'll have to figure that out. Let's take a look while we're here. So parts, ah, that's the press surface key right there. Press right key, that's the press right key. Press surface key, press diving key. So surface one side, diving on the other. There's all the parts. Whoa, look at all the stuff. Operation, so that is forward, backward, left. So forward, backward, left, right, dive and surface. All right, I can't wait to get this in there. We're all set, as much as I need to learn about it. So when I come back, we'll be at the fish tank and we'll get everything in there. Okay, here we go. These are fish that were already in the tank. I've freshened them up. This is his first fresh set of new batteries. He's doing great. Now the RC fish, he's also doing pretty good. I've been able to control him if he gets stuck and move him around. Ooh, look at my first fish. And then a couple of the jellyfish have new batteries, so we'll put those in. I left the green one as is, so we'll see how those go. Now let's put in our shark. That was the first one we looked at, isn't it? So let's see, let's put him in the water and see how he goes. We'll watch him for just a minute. He looks like he's trolling the top. see where's my little RC fish I've been able to move him around the tank a little just got to find out where he is he's stuck I can't even see him I've had a couple fish actually go in SpongeBob's place there move this guy out from there Hmm, I've lost him. All right, well, let's put in our seahorse and see how that works. Ooh, cool. The submarine is ready and charged. The 
tell you what I want to do though. I want to find my missing fish. I'm not sure where he got stuck and the angle that I'm at. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody's been restored. I didn't realize they both went into Squidward's house. So let me put the submarine in. Here we go. Hopefully it doesn't destroy everything. Let me get my motor going. Okay, reverse, ooh. Okay, let's hit dive. There he goes. Ooh, and let's turn around. So I'm not sure if you gotta, it looks like you have to hold the dive button to keep him down. Cool. Turn, turn, come back towards me. There you go. I'll dive it right in front of you here. Go backwards. See if I can turn it all the way around here. There we go. Now forwards. Cool. Check out SpongeBob's place. Ooh, sorry, SpongeBob, didn't mean to wake you up there. Go reverse. So I have pretty good control over it. See that? All right, very cool. Ooh, I hit the jellyfish. All right, what I think I want to do is set my GoPro in there and see if we can get some video. I'll set it in the corner, kind of angle it. And then I'll check that footage later and see if I can add it in. So I'll be right back. I'm going to set the GoPro in there. And then uh, I'll just play around and record this for a little while. Hey, there's my little seahorse. Check him out. You're in my way, buddy. Ooh, turn around. Reverse. There you go. Submerge, submerge, submerge. Okay, I'll be right back. It's hard not to play though. All right, so GoPro is recording. I am, I was actually driving my other fish with one hand. See him up there in the top right? I just got him to move again. So I can get him to turn around and come back to me. Let's see if I can do that. Ooh, I don't want him stuck there. All right, let me move my sub. I can push him around with that. So here we go. Let me submerge. 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 Let me see if I can drive that over to my GoPro. in front of the GoPro so we'll see if I can see it over there when I edit the footage hopefully I get something there I hit the camera I like the submarine I think it's a success in the corner, eh? Can't help Robo. Ooh, there we go. All right, so you'll get some uh, recording time here. I'll just let it record and then I'll occasionally stop, fix some fish, and then restart. So if you see a switch in the video, that's probably what happened. Ooh, reverse, reverse, down, 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 down. Okay. So thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. Hope you enjoyed this next group of items and there's more i have a lot more fish to put in i can't wait till they're all in there moving around getting stuck like my little robo fish in the corner and thanks for watching later
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.